What is going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video today, I'm going to be reacting to the new Falling Universe track. It's called Voices in My Head. There is a music video for it, but there's no audio on Spotify, weirdly enough. So I don't know if there's just a delay on that or if they're just doing something different. I don't know. Anyway, I came home from the cinema last night after watching Top Gun Maverick, and that movie sucks. So don't go watch it. Um. Anyway, point being is that I came home from that movie and i seen that they dropped this track like an hour ago so it's 10 a.m in Ireland right now so i'm a little bit late getting to it in comparison to the reaction scene uh, so we're going to check it out lads i've really enjoyed the past few singles that they've done zombified springs to mind what was the other one they did uh popular monster that is like ridiculously popular that track it has like over 50 million views i think at this point so i mean they are genre bending they don't really have their own well i mean they have their own unique sound but they don't really fall into any particular genre obviously they've got the metal elements but ronnie radke creates this own like sub genre within metal that almost puts them in like a pop star category so it is a unique sound overall and i think they found a good formula so i would imagine that this track will follow much the same formula as they have gone with you know the the melodic kind of traditional build up to a song and then the chaos that they create at the end like they have done with the last two singles so uh yeah without any further ado we're gonna jump in lads make sure you drop a like in the video make sure you sub to the channel make sure you follow me on patreon if you would not mind it'd be much appreciated and let's go voices in my head keep on telling me to pray because i'm spinning like a carousel circling the train hit the bottom of the bottle i don't want to feel the bruh look at this dude <laughs> wait till you see the <laughs> no 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 <laughs> of his head <laughs> so yeah i don't know if you guys are aware but on snapchat these days there's a filter that you can put on yourself that makes you go completely bald and it's actually terrifying because i've got like quite a head of hair on me as you can see now granted i need a haircut i'm going to get one today and roddy radke most certainly has a head of hair and it would do a job on him as well it like takes all your hair off and makes it look like you're bald i'm going to show you right now so yeah i don't know if you guys are aware but on snapchat you anyway, you get the point, all right? The point being is that Ronnie Radke has invested himself, invested himself, invested in a production company to use a snapshot filter on his head. So, are the videos going down in production quality? I don't know. All right, let's run it back because that was an absolutely unnecessary pause. The voices in my head keep on telling me to pray Cause I'm spinning like a carousel, circling the train Hit the bottom of the bottle, I don't wanna feel the pain But that is all I got for now, I don't wanna talk about The voices in my head keep on begging me to stay If I pull the trigger now, then the demons go away And I know my time is coming, so there ain't no time to waste So that is all I got for now, I don't wanna talk about The voices in my head keep telling me to choose a side It's heaven or hell, like it's do or die I'm a sad boy, you know Better, please don't make this last forever. The in my head keep telling me I'm not okay. It's feeling like a hurricane. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back, right? But initial thoughts i was like no 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 they've no. gone down the like kind of rappy sound that they did in drugs with cory taylor and i'll be honest that's one of my least favorite more recent songs i really liked it at the start because i was kind of like slipknot fanboy in that kind of mode at the time so seeing cory taylor just made me like you know be happy so uh but as for ronnie raggy's part i just felt like the rapping side of things was forced now in saying that i like how they've only you know kept a small portion i didn't really like the intro it just i think it's just a little bit forced the rapping side of things uh but the melodic kind of step up we've gotten here i really enjoy so this is what i love about falling in reverse but the voices let's start again keep on telling me to pray because i'm spinning like a carousel circling the train hit the bottom of the bottle i don't want to feel the pain but that is all i got for now i don't want to talk about the voices in my head keep on begging me to stay if i pull the trigger now then the demons go away and i know my time is coming so there ain't no time to waste so that is all i got for now i don't want to talk about the voices in my head keep telling me to choose a side it's heaven or hell like it's do or die i'm a sad boy you know Better, please don't make this last forever. The voices in my head keep telling me I'm not okay. It's feeling like a hurricane in my brain. Hard hard times, bad weather. Please don't make this last forever. I, 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 I. The voices in my head keep on telling me I'm gonna. I, 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 I. 
I love it. I fucking love it. They just... Ronnie Radke is one of the goats of writing catchy hooks. And, like, we're only 50 seconds in. There's probably a lot more to be built into this course, or if this is even the course. But, my lord, he smashes it. And the videos as well, they always have this kind of, like, uh, dystopian feel to it. Like... The background and everything, I believe, is kind of like the, the vibe he goes for, that like futuristic vibe on his Twitch and everything like that. So I love the overall feel of all of their videos um, really well, really well put together. And I believe from a comment in one of the last videos, I did ask what the story was with them and like doing albums and stuff like that. And I believe that at the moment, the way their headspace is at is that they're not focusing on albums. They're just focusing on singles and almost making this massive big deal out of every single, which... I really fuck with it as well because obviously we're in kind of a an era where music is changing so quickly and sticking to an album for like a year or two is probably you know although it's still like quite a um it's quite a popular thing to do obviously because there's so many like people who are still in that you know album consumption mindset where music is just changing so quickly like if I start working on an album now right and I spend like a year and a half doing it unless it's like really timeless piece a really timeless piece of work if you're trying to follow trends for that album by the time it comes out everything's changed so you know ronnie radke and falling reverse being so genre bending and so unique in their own right i think it makes sense for them to do singles because they can kind of judge the landscape at the time and what people are going with and then they can kind of base the single off that and every single time they sound slightly different so that almost makes sense but anyway i'm gonna bring it back and we'll go again i'll try not to pause They got me, they got me already, fuck's sake. Voices in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed. I'm paranoid, I don't wanna make it any worse. Suicide boys? I'm gonna die, but first things first. I'm gonna take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. The voices in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed. I'm paranoid. Oh, this is Suicide Boys. We're all gonna die, but first things first. I'm gonna take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. Move! Telling me I'm cursed, I'm paranoid, I don't wanna make it any worse. We're all gonna die, but first things first, I'm gonna take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. The voices in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed, I'm paranoid, I don't wanna make it any worse. We're all gonna die, but first things first, I'm gonna take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. Move! And then we're going to get massive chorus to outro it. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, stop.
Okay, yeah, I mean, that was a, uh, again, kept the same structure that I was talking about with their, their latest singles. But again, they've showed new elements like that Suicide Boys sounding segment, followed by the breakdowns with the kind of choppy sounding uh, guitar riffs. You know, they always have that kind of thrown in there. I've always got these alien noises that I really enjoy. And the lyrical content of the song, I mean, the track being called Voices in My Head, and then it's obviously being kind of portrayed in the imagery of the video. Now, again, not looking too deep into it, but obviously. There is some lyrics in there that point to the fact that, and even like showing the, the TikTok of, you know, trying too hard, it's almost like Ronnie Radke is seeing all the feedback. Because I know he does pay attention uh, very specifically to, you know, the reaction audience and, you know, the general consensus of the people who follow his music. And um, so he does pay quite close attention to all of that. So I can imagine this will probably, you know, he sees the good shit and he also sees a lot of the bad shit. So I'd imagine he probably overthinks a lot. Going back to Boys in My Head, you can see the you know he's scrolling through tiktok or whatever and it's you can see that people are saying he's trying too hard probably referring to videos like the popular monster video and the zombified the zombified video was like so over the top but in a good way some people i'd imagine critics would be like you're trying way too hard to like have a new style to like make the videos overproduce and stuff like that so i would imagine because i'm quite critical with myself as well and these kind of things so i can imagine that would be something that would, you know play into it but then again it's almost like that other side of the imagery where it's actually him fighting himself so like a lot of these things are probably just over exaggerated in his own head so that's my take on the video you know like at the end he's literally fighting against like millions of himself where it's like you know everyone's probably just like what the fuck are you doing you know relax but it's in his head all this shit's going on and then obviously the lyrics kind of back that up but anyway uh, yeah i really fucking enjoyed that lads sometimes there's been one or two times of falling in reverse where i've kind of listened to it and i'll be like i know i like it but i just need to figure out like how you know why i like it or listen to it a few more times but this one straight hit straight away and um, but yeah lads if you did enjoy the video and the reaction and the thoughts and you know give me your own thoughts give me some feedback then do drop a like in the video It'd be much appreciated make sure you're sub to the channel if you want to follow me on patreon it'll be in the description blah 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 blah. have a good day take care of yourselves have a good saturday have a good weekend i'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves Cheers.